getting right at night with oh jesus power 98.3 we bring a lot of energy and a lot of individuality to our music and the stage never expect anything from us we're always gonna bring something that's unexpected and number three uh dante's the best producer in the game um so new religion is kind of like a o- overarching thing that we have um basically it's just about like he touched on earlier it's about individuality it's about you know being different about being yourself most of all um so that was the name of our first ep so the first official chapter of that is a uh, hyena which is you know i, I don't want to get super you know into like zo- zoology and stuff like that but <laughs> the thing with with a hyena is that it's not canine it's not feline it, it's its own very distinct you know specific type of animal so my best friend that i grew up with in, in denver um who's still like very much in our circle Brought Drew by one day. Um, he was helping him out, like showing him around town, managing him at the time. And uh, was like, "Yo, this kid, he's dope. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should work with him." And for me, it's like I, I usually don't like working with most people, just to be honest, just because it's like, you know, most people aren't really that tight. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm a, I, but I'm a hater though. I, I, I definitely have a rep as a hater. But when we, he came by and we vibed out, and we, we vibed out not only on like a musical level, but like on like a bro to bro level. Yeah. It's like three years ago. It, it, was, it, it probably took like a month or two for me to be like, all right, this, let me show you some of my little secret stuff that I don't want to show anybody I feel like else. it wasn't that long. He always said, yeah. he like, every single time we have an interview, it increases. Like it I, before no, it, was it was like a, a week and then it was like no, a month no. or two. No, it was, it was about a, it was about a <laughs> month. It was about a about month a because month. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm very notorious with my little timestamps of like <laughs> when songs came out and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but anyway, it's like, yeah, like we... You know, we just vibed out on on that level, and once we started really trying to craft our own sound and our own music, you know what I'm saying? Like once we got like three or four songs in, it was like boom, we should like make this a thing, make this a group. And so here we are today. So the the he names his beats like random stuff like pineapple and grape and potato or whatever. I don't know why, but yeah. the name the the file name for back it up when we had started or just a beat for it, I guess, uh, was they. And I saw it. I was like, "Oh, that's kind of tight. Yeah. You should kind of roll with that joint." And he just kind of stuck, and it took on a meaning of its own. So it's bold, you yeah. know what I mean? And we always, he was all like, "Oh, you can't search that. You can't find that." And I was like, "That's just the challenge that I want to tackle. I want to be able to sit there and take it." When you search the word "they," like we're the first thing to pop up, as opposed to the dictionary term or whatever it pops right. up right now. So I, I mean, I, I grew up listening to a lot of different stuff. I listened to hip hop just as much as I listen to rock. So when I was growing up, I was listening to like a lot of Dipset, Jay Z, Fabulous, like East Coast rap. And on the other side, I, you know, this is back like making mix CDs and stuff like that. I throw like Taking Back Sunday, Fall Out Boy, Census Fail. Um, this is like back back in the day, you know, all the way up until now. I listen to like a lot of indie rock, like you know, like Animal Collective or like Vampire Weekend and stuff like that. So. For me, growing up, you know, my mom and dad listened to, my mom listened to a lot of Motown, so I was listening to Motown. My dad listened to punk, I mean, uh, not punk, funk, like uh, Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah. And then I liked Linkin Park and System of a Down and Eminem and stuff like that. And then I liked the, the Boys to Men and Chris Brown and Jeremiah and stuff like that. So it was kind of all over the place. Ed Sheeran, John Mayer, so it's like all over the place. Yeah. Man, it's been an experience. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's I tell cool, you what, man. Like, dude, coming from the East Coast and all that, you know, it's way different. Um, it's mad chill. I like it, um, but you know that that light is very very easy for that lifestyle to just wrap you up and just kind of yeah. spit you chew you up and spit you out. Not a lot of dudes, not a lot of people really are able to handle it. Uh, Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye. I, yeah, I just want his insight. You know what I'm saying? Just like his perspective and yeah. just to learn. You know. And then even in this crazy estate, I, I still like he still has some wisdom to, to sure. give to us. Uh, I really want to work with Missy. Uh, Missy's really tight to me. Uh, that'd be that'd be an honor, yeah. and and I think, honestly, I st- I want to get I gotta want to get insight from somebody like a, somebody from the Motown space, you know, like go talk to go talk to Smokey, you know what I'm saying, or go talk to somebody like that, just kind of see what tap their brain. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, yeah, I wonder what they got to say, right, about their exactly. era days. You know what I mean? So that'd be tight. I love Nicki, don't get me wrong, but that, I mean, I don't know. I, maybe she didn't mean for that the whole the entire thing to be a diss record, which could be com- entirely. But if that was the case, we. She had those two bars. She had those two lines, though, in the middle where they cut the beat and everything. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's a bar. But then other than that, I was like, oh, okay. Do you feel like she had to respond to something? I don't think she needed to. I feel like there was more power in not saying nothing at all. It's like, I'm, really? ab- I'm above you at this point. Like, if, in, my, in my opinion, I would have just been like, you know what? 
Where's your bread at? I got I you know I got platinums. I got all that. Where's your bread at? I just, at the same time though, I can say the same thing about Remy because her first joint was tight, but that second joint was trash. Yeah, 